wanna take you home with me, baby. You and me alone tonight. Simple and easy with a 2001 Chevrolet S10. This has got the 4.3 under the hood, new paint job, huge book of receipts, bed cover. Of course, this is going to be easy test drive. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. The interior's been redone, seats have been redone, dash. It not even cracked up at all. Big old packet here of receipts. That's great. Start it up. It does have 200,000 miles, right at 200,000 miles. It's not scrolling. That's just what it looks like on my camera. All right. What about the AC? Is it cold? It's already getting cold. You know. This thing doesn't look like it has 200,000 miles. Somebody's definitely done a lot to it. Got my back seats. <laughs> Bag right there. If you want to see what's in it, look below in the description. Horn, place your bets. I bet it works. What? Oh! What? No way! Ugh. If I push it too hard, an airbag might blow out of there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no lights. Let's see how she runs and drives. We're gonna roll out. Hey, look, all the cones just flipped over. Hey, seat belts, everyone. Make sure you put your seat belt on. You don't want to end up like that cone. Let's go, Miss Frizzle. I don't know who that is. Is that from SpongeBob? Magic School Bus. Here we go. Oh, Magic School Bus. Yes. Sweet. That's me getting in it. Not really. I was like half throttle. Steering seat's pretty tight on this one. Speedometer, yeah, it actually seems correct, but I may be a little bit fast. I don't think I was running 60. I'm gonna say I was running 50. Yeah, because yeah, that's 50, that's probably like 40, right? That's what it feels like. Pretty smooth going down the road. I used to drive these trucks in high school. Yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, I did actually. Touching the brakes. Great oil pressure, I mean almost 55 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, engine temperature is also doing good. We're going to get on over because we got to go through town. Face of the radio is in the office, so the radio should work, but the horn should have worked too. Radio does work. Horn does work. <gasps> oh! What? <laughs> you got to get under it. It's a soft spot. I bet I freaked those people out. They were like, what is wrong? Why did I, what did I do? Yeah, if you push under, it works. So a horn works. It just takes a while. After you've done wrecking everything, then it'll hump. <laughs> what happens when I floor it? Hit the turbo button? It's got plenty, plenty to get up for a little STM truck. I like the paint job quite a bit. It's nice and clean. Well, it would have been clean if I would have washed it before we did the test drive, but we kind of had to rush out of there. So that means when I do the walk around, I'm going to have to wash it when we get back. And then it's going to rain tonight. Yeah, so be clean in the rain. Yep, you're right. I never tried the wipers. Oh, looks like they work too. kind of figured they would. So all the receipts are going to be on maplemotors.com. You can look at it under the detailed pictures. Uh, just check it out, I'm sure what I'm experiencing right now, a majority of the stuff has been replaced and redone on this truck. Especially right at 200,000 miles, if it's already all redone. I mean, it, no telling what this odometer will read when this truck's finally laid to rest. Could be 450,000. It could be. Could be. I've seen some higher than that. There was a guy with a Ford Ranger that came through about five years ago, had one, uh, it went over back to zero. Mm -hmm. All the way. It, one million miles. Rolled over. He was still driving. That's pretty cool. I'm sure he had to do a lot of work to it, but that was cool. I had a uh, 98 Toyota Camry. Had 430,000 miles on it before it blew up. It's pretty nice. 
What's going on back here? Is that our coast? I don't remember the shifter being like that in the back. It's got a boot on it and everything. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. I'm gonna break it off. It's gonna be your, uh... It says the cruise. That's what it should be. No power options in this, like locks or windows. So you don't, oh, have, you don't have to worry about it breaking. One of my old neighbors got in a car. I was trying to roll down the window and just, I can't find the button. And I'm like, no, you gotta roll it from that. And she was like, what? Yeah, she just <laughs> blew her mind. She had to roll the window down. It's like, you're spooled. <laughs> you're spooled. And then, and then I guess all the new generation, they probably have no clue. No. My no, son I, does though. I showed a, uh, I showed a pay phone to my, to my cousin. And he, he was like, where's the touch screen? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you gotta automatically put them in manually. Yeah, it's got a like clicking noise. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the old phones that. Yeah, we didn't speed. have those. I did, my grandfather. I was calling all kinds of people. <laughs> well, this truck look looks like it's doing great. I mean, we're sitting in traffic and stuff, but as far as running and driving down the road, we've we've got good engine temperature, 190, 200. Uh, great oil pressure, 45, 50. It's running smooth smooth going down the road and it looks really clean inside and out so instead of just going red light to red light talking about phones and stuff i'll see you in a minute we're gonna get some outside shots some undercarriage shots right after we go to this uh little mexican restaurant up here with our friends and have lunch we get, get it done by the lake man yes that's what we're have that background me and him was on the lake last night if he actually i'll put the picture on there he caught a 17 pound catfish we were out in the middle I don't know. I'll be back. Time to roll. Let's try to get this seat belt to move. Okay. It's good now. I don't guess I need AC anymore, do I? The wind out here is crazy. Got some storms brewing. We didn't get to go down by the lake. It would have been terrible. <laughs> the winds would have been way too much. I gotta try to remember to put that that picture of that fish in here so y'all can see it it'd just be a quick glimpse some of y'all don't care some of you might 
Here we go. This one drives just as it should. And it actually doesn't seem like it has 200,000 miles. I assume it's all the receipts over here. I mean, this thing's actually pretty thick. Bump in the road, nice and smooth. It didn't rock me to death. That's a good little example because it's not like a giant speed bump. You can hit it at a moderate speed and actually uh, listen to the vehicle. Some vehicles will have a little rattle or something. Uh, some of them, if they're lowered and they don't have a great suspension, they'll literally send me into the roof from that little bump. So that's why I always point that out because it's, it's a pretty good testing spot. It used to be pretty hardcore, like when I first started doing the videos and then something happened. It seemed like it shrunk down in the ground. We had a lot of freezing going on. All right, see what we're gonna do? Pull back in the lot, picking out the flaws. Coming up next, I'm gonna go in and build these videos for you and I'll be back. This truck's gonna be easy, guys. Pretty clean on the outside. So let's get started on the front where usually that's gonna be bug guts and chips and scratches. A little bit of bug guts up here. A little touch up mark there. A couple chips. Chips at the bottom. Chips on that side. Marks on the corner there. Chips over here. Scuff there. Scratch here. Scuff. marked here in the corner. The windshield looks awesome. Cups here. It's protective guard here. Little chips on the corner.
They went a long way with this one. Look at the bed. Bed rug. Bed rug. <laughs> Very cool. Same on the top. I just wouldn't want to throw anything dirty in here. I can tell you that. Usually truck beds, I'm throwing tires and stuff. There's no way I dug tires in here. Looks like it zips up though. I wonder if it just comes right out. I don't know. Probably a little bit more than just coming right out. <laughs> it locks. I had to unlock it to uh, get it to unlatch. But check this out. To unlock it, you push that. So that's like your door handle when you pick up. And it lifts itself up with a seal all the way around. Pretty cool bed cover there. And then it's locked. How about that? And there's a key inside. You can't open the tailgate when it's locked. All these little white bugs everywhere, man. These little guys. Chip here. I guess they're just blending in. <laughs> Let's go down this side. Scuff there. Hmm. Scuff here. Beautiful truck. Paint job is awesome. I absolutely love a white truck, a white car. I think they look really clean. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the inside. Which is pretty clean as well since it's all been redone. You've changed this out. This back door opens too. Oh, it's only one seat in this one. That's not a seat. Well, yeah, that comes down and turns into a seat for your compact people. <laughs> Tent scuffed up there. We got a couple extra lights that just popped on. This whole test drive, those haven't been on. Let's double check that on. It's breaking ABS. Hold on. We're going to cut her off. Cut it back on. Now 
it's not on. Huh. Making sure it's not nothing to do with the ignition there. They ain't on now. All right. Whole air intake. That's brand new. They got that somewhere. I haven't actually seen one made out of that material. Somebody may have made that. Guys, we made it all the way around this ride. There's detailed pictures. There's financing and shipping. It's all located at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm going to head on back to the lot and try to get one more done before the storm rolls in tonight. Let's roll.